What's going on everybody, Rod J back again. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video. Today I'm taking a look at one from Dogfish Head. And this is their campfire amplifier. Comes in at six and a half percent ABV. This one is a stout. In fact, it is a milk stout brewed with graham crackers, cinnamon, marshmallows, cocoa powder, and vanilla beans so a lot of stuff happening with this one had not seen this one before thought it'd be kind of interesting to take a look at and uh let's go ahead and get it into the glass of course if it's your first time to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this hit that alarm bell so you're also notified and then uh if you like what you see hit that thumbs up as well and of course, Sharon is always appreciated as well. As they say, Sharon is Karen. So nice dark stout, nice tan head, everything to be expected there. Actually using a tulip style glass for this one. Aroma wise, I get a nice sweetness on the nose. Getting some chocolate coming out of there. A little bit of a roastiness. Nice amount of smoothness in there. I can definitely tell more of a milk chocolate type feel but smelling pretty decent. Now we're down to a finger, so it is dissipating rather quickly on the head, taste-wise. Milk chocolate right there on the taste. I will say one of the first things I noticed is the thinness. It does have a thinness to the beer. Was kind of expecting that going in with the lower ABV for what I usually like to enjoy stouts at. But for some of you guys that really don't like to have maybe beers too thin. You do have that thinness quality, but I will say it's not like a watery type quality. It's just you do pick up that thinness rather quickly. You get a little bit of feel of that chocolate. Do you get a feel of kind of a marshmallow flavor in there in the background? So that is coming through. Not getting too much of a cinnamon. Good carbonation on the beer. You can feel a tongue prickling right there on the uh, tongue as well. Duration. It's okay. It's about an average duration of the flavor. You do get a little bit more of that into the throat area. I'm getting a little bit of an aftertaste from the beer where the flavor is lingering a little bit. I have a little bit in the cheek area. Obviously, with it being a little bit thinner, it's not really latching in like some of the Imperials that I usually drink along those lines. I'm not getting too much of a gram type feel to this one. A little bit of the cocoa. So, it's an okay beer. It's not really knocking me back too much. I was expecting to have maybe something of kind of that, that smoke type feel, that campfire, that s'mores type feel. And I'm not fully getting all of that in there, but it has a nice dessert appeal to it. It's just a little bit less than I was going for. Not hating the beer. Just would have liked a little bit more into it, but lighter type stout. So it's not going to be too heavy for you. So for those of you not looking for the bigger ABV, you can easily go through this as well. A little bit of a dessert appeal. And uh, another one here from Dogfish Head. If you've had this one, let me know what you thought of it. Leave a comment in the comment section. Body-wise on this, you're also looking at a medium body in that regard. But uh, it's all right. I will say the artwork is kind of cool. I'll get that a little closer if you didn't see the artwork there in the bottle. That's pretty interesting there also. So... Dogfish Head, of course, now part of Boston Beer as well. And uh, it's all right. It's all right. That's, that's the best I can say right now. So thanks for swinging by to check out another video. Look forward to catching up with you guys soon. Remember, there's always time. Get your beer on. Cheers, everybody.